Like, well, lots of other folks are excited this morning because they're gearing up for this year's Fort for Fitness Fall Festival races. Yeah, they have been working hard. The annual event officially kicks off today with the main races happening tomorrow. Wayne 15's Michael Kuhn is live at Parkview Field with all you need to know ahead of the big weekend. Pat and Alyssa, good morning. Around 7,000 people will cross the finish line just on the other side of those gates behind me today and tomorrow as part of this year's Fort for Fitness Fall Festival. Festivities officially kick off today at noon here at Parkview Field. All Saturday race participants will need to stop by to pick up their race packets. That'll include a goodie bag, race shirt, and runner bib. Packet pickup runs until 8 p.m. tonight. The kids and senior marathons also wrap up tonight. After working all summer to reach the finish line, both the young and the young at heart will finish their final mile at home plate. Other fun activities will also be going on around the ballpark throughout the evening. Then tomorrow morning comes the main event. The marathon gets things started with the main group taking off at 6.30. More than 200 runners are signed up to run that race. About 1,600 people will then take off from the starting line around 7.30 for the 10K race. An hour later, 1,400 runners are scheduled to kick off the half marathon marathon and finally the largest and most popular race the four mile run walk will start at 10:30 as more than 2400 people make their way to Parkview Field if you're on the fence and you're thinking about it you should definitely do it like it's it's awesome it's a great thing to be a part of if you've never experienced it before there's really nothing like it it's awesome same day registration will be available tomorrow, but organizers suggest everyone get there plenty early as parking will be limited. All races start near the Harrison and Baker Street intersection. And like we said, it is going to be very busy downtown tomorrow morning, so you're going to want to be aware of some of those road closures and restrictions that are going to be in place around Parkview Field and the downtown area. We have a list of those and a map in this story on Wayne.com along with all the other information you need to know about this year's Fort for Fitness Fall Festival. Live in Parkview Field this morning, Michael Kuhn, Wayne 15 News.